Well, guys, the tables have turned again. According to Zach's estimates, the current rating for AMC is a buy rating. Surprise, surprise. Which means that AMC currently is at the top 20% of more than 4,000 stocks based on trends and earnings estimates, including expectations for positive EPS. For a very, very, very long time, we've seen the best reports and ratings for AMC to be on the hold side. Majority of them were always and a lot of them still are on the sell side rating. But seeing buy rating, this is very, very interesting. But they also expect rebounds and completely different new trend movement to coming around the corner. Here is why AMC could experience a turnaround. The heavy selling of AMC shares appears to be the reason for the current downtrend. They're simply pointing out that RSI uh, points out that AMC is extremely oversold, but the trend that is coming forward is completely different. The trend for the stock could reverse soon for reaching an old equilibrium of supply and demand. Is this simply referring to the idea that the, the stock currently is not trading based on supply and demand, indirectly saying that there are other forces that are pushing the stock price lower, while the fundamental has been improved dramatically. You're probably surprised that AMC had to reach new all-time low to change the rating to buy. So AMC is a buy when it's all time slow. It almost feels that somebody wants to tell you something, wants to give you a hidden message, but they don't actually mentioning it. They're saying that the future price value and expectations for the stock will simply be based on supply and demand. They're not saying that the current trading activity is based on supply and demand, which is a big, big red flag. And they're basing out this future value not only on the oversold position of the RSI, they're pointing out that there are other things that you should pay very close attention to. The technical indicator is not the only factor that calls for potential rebound for the stock. There is a fundamental indicator as well, a strong agreement among sell-side analysts covering AMC in rising earnings estimates for the current year. Even the ones that give AMC a sell rating, they cannot simply, you know, not paying attention to the numbers and beating the earnings and, and having almost each of the estimates destroyed. The main point over here is that even the most bearish ones will eventually turn bullish. We're currently in environment in which AMC is in increased earnings potential and on top of that they also increase the consensus EPS which the current estimates are for 0.3% over the past 30 days. For the last 30 days not to mention the, the whole Taylor Swift uh, catalyst improve each and every expectations and estimates. This is why it will be uh, very uh, stupid for some of these, even the sell side rating agencies to give AMC a bearish catalyst and bearish expectations, considering that this incoming earnings report will represent the amount of money that AMC generated throughout the Oppenheimer movie and the Barbie movie. So understand what we're even talking about over here. Also, they highlight that an upward trend in earnings estimates revisions usually translates into price appreciation in the near term. So it's not just AMC improving the fundamental value and the shareholder value. They're going to improve according to them the price action as well. This is why they mentioned earlier that you're going to be seeing a real supply and demand when AMC goes back to where it actually belongs. This is not where AMC belongs. Very, very interesting points of views over here, guys. Their expectations are very, very interesting. Why otherwise they will be giving AMC a buy rating. Remember, these rating agencies in general, they don't care about the company. They don't care about, you know, other factors. They just simply focus on the numbers and the expectations, how these numbers will be changing in the next quarter or so. Probably they really expect AMC to rebound and go back to whatever number. I don't know, 10, 15, 20. 30, 40, 50, 60 dollars, who knows? The main point is that essentially at the end of the day, when everything clears out, when the debt clears out, they expect AMC to simply be traded based on supply and demand, which will be very interesting to see what prices will be looking at when the stock has been traded in this way. Yeah.